additional way to get some patterns to get you started and that is with access to WGSN. Um, this semester we do have access fortunately. Um, so it's to set it up you have to go through the server through the college's library or you will not receive access. So it's very particular because this is not a free resource. It's something that the college paid for. So they have to you know, confirm you're a student basically. So I'm in the syllabus link in Canvas and I'm scrolling down the syllabus and I'm looking for WGSN information. Here we go, here's the policy. Free access for students through the SAC Library website. I provided a link to the SAC Library website. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And then now at the very, very bottom for W, you will find WGSN. Now you have to click this special magical link here as well. So two links there. You're on the library, you click this guy, then it'll take you to a page where you can set up an account. You can use any email you like, just remember what email you use, and you can create whatever password, just remember it. Then you have your login information for where you can actually go to WGSN, and then you can actually uh, log in. So I, when I, I would love to click that link for you, but it won't work because I already have an account. So anyways, I'm now logged in to WGSN. And once you are logged in, you wanna look for the fashion tab up here in this like black bar. And then there's like a mini tab underneath it with lots of great information, such as reports, all kinds of stuff. Um, but what you might be interested in for this part of our project is the 3D CAD library. Um, they have created designs in 3D and you can open them in Clo and it comes with a 2D pattern, which is kind of good. So if you're not good at drafting patterns, it's something to start with. I will say these patterns are not perfect. They are not as good as what you're gonna buy um, at Joanne's Fabrics regarding like McCall's or Simplicity or Vogue patterns, but they're a decent start. Really, the um, these designs are, the patterns are made just for the design on the 3D side. They don't really pay attention to fit. So that's something to keep in mind. But anyways, they have lots of garments and you can even apply a filter. So you probably want to do, I believe it's product. And then I will click apparel. I won't click the apparel box, otherwise it selects everything. That's too much. So I'm going to unclick that box, but click the word apparel. And then come find what you're looking for. Maybe it's a dress. So I'll click dresses and then they have more categories. Maybe at this point you do want to look at all the dresses. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to click the specific ones because this is as far as it goes. Then when you're done, click apply. And voila, here are some, actually this one reminds me of one of the ones in our class that a student's doing. It looks like it's for a child and that's another filter you can use as well. Um, so you would say download, okay. And there we go, it probably will take a minute to download because this is a rather large file. Once it's downloaded, you'll see it's probably gonna be a zip file and you'll double click that and that'll open up a folder with more file types. You wanna look for the file type that ends in Z project, like ZPRJT, I think. Let's, I kind of forget, but I always recognize it. And it has like the little clo symbol usually next to it as well. Okay, it's halfway there, which is great. Okay, da, 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 da. almost there, almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It unzipped it for me, so here's the folder, and then here's the file you wanna open, ZPRJ. You don't need the other. Well, this is actually a DXF of the pattern, which is kinda neat, um, but you'll, it'll open when you open up the project. So all I have to do is double click this, and it should open in Clo. Feel free to fast forward. <laughs> There it is. Okay, so WGSN usually defaults with the avatar view off. There's a toggle menu for different ways to view your work. You can view like reference lines, like stitch lines, all kinds of stuff. Right now they have the avatar turned off. So I'm gonna click this first one that says show avatar. Looks like keyboard shortcut is shift A. And there's the avatar that they used. Um, so you already made an avatar. So you may wanna open up your avatar so you can select this guy Oops, mine's still waiting. Anyways, you can delete this avatar and open up your avatar is what I'm trying to get at. There we go, she's gone, let's go library. 
Um, let's do avatar, double click, um, kid, double click. And there are new kid avatars in the store as well, if you haven't found that out, because I know one of you guys is doing kids wear. Uh, double click what size, you know, I, you have your avatar saved, so you'll double click the avatar to get it in. And we'll say, okay. Ooh, what we should have done first, actually, I'm gonna hit Command Z a couple times, is we should have first simulated. So let's see here, let me just see if I can go back. Let me see if it let me undo. Where's my history tab? Oh, it's not, okay, that's fine. Let's see if this will work. I think we probably should have simulated before we deleted the avatar, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna say select all. <laughs> I'm gonna try to place this a little bit in a better spot. Oopsies, I don't think it got selected. Here we are. I'm gonna hit number two. I'm gonna rotate around, maybe this is okay. So obviously this avatar is bigger than the other one. So what we can do is there's an auto size and it's hidden. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. There it is, this guy. So I'm gonna hover over it, it says auto fitting. So it's supposed to automatically change this fit of this 2D pattern to match your avatar. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna click it and I'll say okay. There we go, so it made the pattern bigger to fit our new avatar. And now at this point, you can really go in and redesign the pattern. You may wanna even change the fit more. Um, you know, you can collect, select these little vector points and just move the point and it'll move the joining lines. Um, that's with the this tool, Edit Pattern. I like to just use the letter Z for a quick grab because it is on top of a menu with other tools. So Z is a quick way to grab it. Um, yeah, you can add your different fabric, you make all your different changes. So anyways, WGSN is another way to go grab some pre-existing blocks so you don't have to start from scratch to match your customer's design.